Hello and welcome to another vlog from Jim's Got Travelling Coffee Court. Today I'm on the crew car and we're just going to have a look at this, the Stockport Viaduct. So it's just going to be a nice show one today. Hope you can join me. So that viaduct was built in 1841. 11 million bricks were put into it to create it. And that was in 1841. And it's 2021 now. And it still looks as good as it did then. So that viaduct was completed in 1841, which makes it nearly 200 years old. And to be honest, it's worn a bit in the weather and everything else like that, but it still looks as good as it did then. If I looked that good at 200 years old, I'd be pretty proud of myself. So that viaduct is 27 arches long. At the time of its completion, it was the longest viaduct in the world. Now, just outside Carlisle is the Ribblehead Viaduct, which I always thought was slightly longer. After doing some research, I found out that that is three arches longer and about 10 meters taller. That is really impressive. And what I'll do I've put a picture of the Sopot Viaduct and Riverhead next to each other just to see, just for you to see the different building styles and just how much, how similar they actually are to each other. So, just got off a train here at Stockport Station and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually video the next train in, which I think is an Avanti West Coast train uh, across the viaduct into Stockport Station. And there's the Viaduct's party piece. It lights up at night. And even better, there's a train going over it. A very, very large Pendolino. So it stretches both sides of that tower block. What an amazing way to end this vlog.
this viaduct makes me look small. Because I can look to what? The third stone? Then look at how high it goes. That is scarily tall. Here's a plaque on the side that says when it was built, how long it was, how many arches there is, how many bricks are in it, and also that it featured in L.S. Lowry's paintings. Viaduct shows is that in 1841 the engineers future proofed it. It's still standing today. Like faster trains than ever before go over this bridge, viaduct. But engineering now, I don't think it's got the same future proofing. I mean, there's wrangling of a HS2 which is a high-speed rail link that's going to link London with the north of England. Is that really going to last 200 years before it becomes obsolete? Probably not. And by the time it does become obsolete, that'll still be standing. Trends will be going over it still, and it'll still be here. I just wish that engineering now, especially when it comes to public transport, was as future-proof as that viaduct was. I could be wrong, but somehow I don't think I am. So that'll do it for another vlog from the Ginger Zutton Travelling Coffee Cup. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and share the video as it really will help. I don't actually know where my next vlog will be, but hopefully there'll be one in the coming weeks. Hope you can join me in that one.